Hi, I'm James Chittenden here, Solutions Engineer for Google Cloud Platform. Today I'm going to talk about how to effectively prepare video assets for streaming delivery on Google Cloud Platform. When preparing media files for streaming, there are many options you have to consider, from transcoding, cropping the video files using Google Compute Engine, leveraging open source libraries such as FFmpeg, Handbrake, or even leveraging managed offerings like Wix Media Platform, Zencoder, and, and many other commercial offerings. There are many variables that come into play that can interrupt playback, and a few top ones include the diverse devices of your users, are they running on a mobile device, a desktop, a TV with a Chromecast? So you have to account for the different sizes of screens. Secondly, users with varied bandwidth speeds. You're going to have some users that have slow connections and some of them that are fast. Thirdly, network traffic from your streaming video server has to be blazing fast. And we're going to cover that in depth in the next video. And then lastly, the performance abilities of the user's device. Do they have a fast CPU or a slow CPU? The goal is to find the right balance between bit rate and resolution as it relates to the end user's connection speed and device ability. To achieve these goals, we need to leverage a technique called adaptive streaming. Let's explore this concept. So what is adaptive streaming? Well, adaptive streaming is a technique of detecting a user's bandwidth capabilities in real time, taking that information and adjusting the quality of the video stream accordingly. The result is less buffering, faster start times, and overall a much better user experience for both your high speed and low speed connections. Adaptive streaming works by having multiple bit rates available for the player or server, on a CDN potentially, to pull content based on the user's connection speed and ability. Let's dig into this concept with an example. Say I have a large video that I need to transcode to accommodate users with mobile resolutions for Android, iOS, and other mobile devices. I also want to ensure I have HD versions of the video that's formatted for big desktop screens as well as TV devices. So as a user, they should be able to use my app on their device, and unknown to them, multiple streams will be available and will be seamlessly switched to match their internet connection as it degrades or improves. The key is to keep this process smooth and seamless. And when using adaptive streaming, we can achieve no interruption of playback. So check out this diagram. I have a sample video player on Google Cloud Platform, and it might be serving up multiple formats all at once. I have a large sample video at 2612 kilobits per second, another at 1600 kilobits per second, and another at 1200 and 800, and so on. The goal is to select the right encoding profile to ensure each device that's consuming my video content will receive the right format and right size that's appropriate for their connection. Let's explore how we can prepare our video assets. When selecting a transcoding tool, there are several options available to leverage. Depending on your preference, whether you like command line access for automation or a simplistic user interface for manual conversion, there's many open source tools that can be leveraged within Google Compute Engine to provide an automated video transcoding pipeline. The first is FFmpeg. This is a popular open source product that provides an extensive cross-platform solution for converting videos to streaming formats. This tool supports many input container formats, it's a very mature tool, and it has strong automation capabilities. The next is Handbrake, another open source cross-platform tool that you can use to convert any video from nearly any format to a selection of modern, widely supported codecs. That's from the open source side. From a managed perspective, there are several fully managed video processing solutions that integrate directly with Google Cloud Platform. Let's look at a couple of the popular options that could jumpstart your video solution and scale up with your app's needs. The first is Brightcove Zencoder. This is a cloud-based transcoding solution for both live video as well as video on demand. You simply push your video to the Zencoder API, and this managed solution takes care of the rest. Customers like Funny or Die, SmugMug have all built their video workflows around Zencoder to encode large volumes of video affordably and quickly. So this same powerful tool set is available for you as a developer. The next is Wix Media Platform, another collection of services 
It allows you to store, serve, upload, and manage images, audio, and video files. This platform allows you to host, transcode, and serve video seamlessly across any internet-enabled device. If you want to take the work out of standing up your own video encoding solution, these managed services are definitely the way to go. As a quick recap, it's very important to spend some time thinking through what your primary objectives are for streaming video content from your app to your target users. You need to think about which options fit your app's needs. As you can see, there are many options to leverage on Google Cloud Platform, from open source tools to fully managed third-party video processing solutions. For more information, please see the links below. And stick around, watch the next video to learn more about how to effectively serve up your newly encoded video content using Google Cloud Platform. That's it for now. The next step is delivering these video assets in a blazing fast way. This is James Chittenden with Google, and we will see you on the next episode of Launchpad Online.